Okay. Um, so I hope uh, you guys are now at least clear with the steps what needs to be how Scala can be installed on your Windows machine and Scala IDE can be extracted and launched from your Windows machine and similarly how you can set up uh, your Scala on your VM Linux box and Scala Eclipse IDE also on Eclipse box okay so this is my fresh launch of Scala IDE on my quick start VM so just now I clicked on it right um, so I can open this the first thing so once I clicked on this this is the first when I gave the first workspace uh, the new workspace directory this is the fresh project explorer that I have opened so either you can start with new Scala project okay so to get start with building the Scala project applications first you uh, need to know all these classes objects and interfaces folders and all these things okay but first of all anyway let it be first let me create the test project Before going to all these classes and objects and all, uh, you can even practice the same shell features here in Eclipse also. Okay, same shell kind of thing. You can create a Scala worksheet, which is same like your Scala shell on the terminal. Okay. Test worksheet. Build automatically is enabled, so that's why uh, trying to build it. Okay, I don't need to build this first project. Build automatically, so that's the one which is still in this. Yeah, let me recreate the worksheet. AWS. So now I can okay so 
this is my worksheet dot sc the scalar code. Uh, inside this, I can play with any of this code. Like I can write same uh, inside this object. I can do the same thing that I was uh, practicing, right? I can just save it. Okay. So this one plus two or any other Scala commands that I can save here. And once I save, if I need to run that worksheet, so select the piece of code that you want to execute and in the Scala terminal. Scala interpreter test. It runs that code and it shows the results. So it ran one plus two, result went through. And if you want to print anything, okay. Yeah, so this is how uh, you can practice it on your uh, Eclipse itself, even the uh, Scala shell commands. So this is what at least I thought of showing you uh, today. Okay, so now you can install your Scala and Scala IDE on both the operating systems and able to open it and launch the Scala shells and now ready to execute your Scala commands. Okay, so now let's start with the, the programming concepts of it. Done with the setup. Uh, any questions on setup issues? Yeah, uh, I face some issues like because of the slow internet or is it because of uh, my RAM memory issues on my machine? Yeah, leaving that aside, so do you have any other questions? Like, I'll set it up tomorrow, Shiva, and then based on that, I'll ask you if I have yeah. any. Sure, definitely. And for tomorrow's session, the prerequisite or the mandatory is that you have to complete these setups uh, at least Scala and Scala IDE, at least on one of these operating systems. Okay, I am fine even if you set, just set it up on your Windows machine, that is also fine, but better to complete on both the things. Okay, so once you are ready uh, with this setup for tomorrow onwards, so will be uh, it is it will be very easy. I have seen you guys uh, practicing on the same time. So when I am trying to run some commands on my Scala shell or these things, they were trying to practice same time. Okay, from the previous batches also. So I have question from I have Cloudera VM 1.6 and facing issue in installation. 1.6. May not be the wrong version number that you placed here, uh, Deepankar. 1.6, in my opinion, it's not at all there. So we have all around 5.3 uh, or above only. Shiva. Uh huh. Um. Uh, uh, if I have, the, as you said, right, I have 5.3, Scala is already uh, installed on that because I'm trying to install Java. Java itself is saying it's giving some problem. So you I can still practice. Java on it. First. Yeah. Because it says that Java 6 has been installed and it's not removing some issues. Uh, on the other system I tried. Okay. 
If not, like I try to install the other one, which I let me just see. And Shiva, I have one quick question that's not related to the, you know, like it's related to the timings. Is there a way where I don't know whether it is good for the team or not? I'm just asking. Instead of Saturday, is it uh, good to start early one day? Sorry, I mean Sunday. Like you have three days, right? So yeah. if you start one day earlier, it's uh, one day earlier in the sense instead of like, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. So uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because uh, I get only on weekend to do many things, and it's I may not sometimes be home at nine thirty, or I may be out, or I might go out. Okay, yeah. on weekends. Yeah. Uh, Weekend. Here yes. you will get only on one weekend, Saturday night. Uh, your Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. Okay. Yeah, Let's so I want this. Saturday to be free. Okay, okay, I, I got it. Uh, let me pull this opinion onto the batch. Uh, let me see how uh, they'll go with it. Okay? Yeah, yeah. and... Uh, I saw your details. Okay, I'll call you after tomorrow regarding that whatever details you have okay. sent. Probably Tuesday I go to office this long weekend, then I'll try to send it. Okay, okay, no problem. Yep. The thing is, um, uh, so for every two months only I take these patches, one uh, fresh patch. Uh, generally, I plan this Scala and Spark many people were asking over the weekends so that's oh. the reason um, yeah they I planned it for Saturday and Sunday mainly uh, my timings <laughs> yeah it, it's purely based on the request that I received uh, they, many people were asking don't we have weekend batch don't we have weekend batch so so that's when I started why not on weekend so just ask the team not it's it's okay and Yep, I, I will poll with the entire team uh, yeah. I, based on their opinions, majority of their wishes, I will plan it. Okay. Okay, appreciate that Shiva. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, the other, from others, what I heard is like, so they will be a bit busy during the weekdays and uh, sometimes, right? So that's why. Uh, yeah, for me it's 9.30 to 11.30, right? Like it's... Correct, correct. Yeah, but only one day I get to play with my son only on weekend. <laughs> Otherwise, he'll be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I I do understand your concern. Let me let me talk to the team and that team and then decide. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Shiva. Yeah. Hey, Shiva, Shiva, quickly, this is Anand. Uh, maybe maybe one day weekend you can keep in the morning our time, US time, if possible. You know, maybe uh, evening your time. I don't have any issue at all and I'm not sure anyone raised any issue also in this because this is anyway weekend for others also. Um, yeah, that is a very good idea, no? maybe. Yep, that's, uh, yeah, I feel like many people will accept that. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, let me stop it here today. Uh, tomorrow we'll start with the programming. We we'll start with the very basic things, starting from the data types, how to declare variables, how to declare strings, how to declare numbers, how to declare strings, how to uh, write basic functions. Okay. We'll be beginning from the very basics. Okay. And we'll go up to some certain extent of uh, complexity till where you need it in Spark. That's it. Okay, we don't need uh, the enterprise concepts of your uh, Scala. Same way, like your Java enterprise concepts, we don't need for Hadoop. Right? 